Just in, we've learned the University of Wisconsin-Madison is canceling all in-person classes and shifting to remote learning for the next two weeks. It comes as COVID cases continue to climb there. More than 1,000 students and staff have tested positive within the past month. Earlier today, Dane County officials urged the university to send students home for the semester as 74% of all cases in the county now stem from the school. Well, meanwhile, here in Minnesota, hundreds of students are quarantined on campuses like uh, Winona State. Devon Roming tells us tonight how that school is hoping to keep COVID under control. So I think students were disappointed, as we would expect, but I think they also understand. A return to campus for many universities is proving problematic in combating the spread of COVID-19. Winona State University is implementing what it calls a campus-wide soft quarantine for the next 14 days after at least 200 of their students tested positive for the virus this week. The increases in cases that we're seeing are not um, random widespread. They exist within pockets of uh, friendships and pockets of influence. Though symptoms are reportedly mild, all students must limit on campus activity and do distance learning while masking up and practicing social distancing. We've also asked our employees who are able to do their work from home or remotely to, to do so. You may be wondering, how does one enforce such strict policies for more than 7,000 students? Students have the ability to report if they see somebody who's not following the guidelines, our students have the ability to report that and we follow up on those reports. And within the last week, reported violations and sanctions are already on the rise with students facing the possibility of suspension. There were about 60 names of students who had come through that process. In addition to peer-to-peer -peer policing, administrators are also partnering with local law enforcement and landlords to make sure students are following the soft quarantine orders. The more data we have, the more information we have, the better we'll get the full picture and the better we'll be able to take appropriate action. For CARE 11 News, I'm Devon Roming.